episode we will be throwing light on Chalcolithic cultures of the Deccan, South India and Eastern India. To help me in this regard, I have with me Dr. Nupur Daj Gupto, Professor of History, Jadapur University and Ms. Preeta Bhattacharya of the Department of Ancient History and Culture, University of Calcutta. The archaeologists suggest that Malwa culture was seeping gradually into uh, parts of Tekken and the main concentration of the sites were in the river valleys of uh, Pravara, Godavari, Bhima, Papi, etc. And uh, there were su subtle differences in pottery types because here we have a finer fabric which uh, were baked at a very high temperature and also we have different shapes which we didn't have in central India like you know the spouted uh, vessels and the deep bowls these are rare shapes that we do not get in central India. Preeta can you tell us about the very interesting site of Daimabad? Yes, Taimabad is uh, very interesting because we have continuous occupation from mm, a very mm. early level and mm. most of the layers are associated with copper. Mm. Uh, take for example period 2 of Taimabad yeah. which is associated with late Harappan occupation and here you have a distinctive pottery uh, black on red ware and uh, you have um, the advent of copper. Uh, the third phase at Daimabad is represented by the Daimabad culture and here also we have evidence that copper was locally smelted and uh, we have a flourishing uh, blade tool industry, bead industry, mm -hmm. bone tools etc. Uh, the third phase is the Malwa culture phase where we have uh, extensive structural remains. Mm. We have uh, rectangular spacious houses uh, with mm, plastered floor, mud walls, hearths and wooden port, uh, posts to support the roof. Uh, and uh, we also have beads, different kinds of beads, bone tools, microlithic industry etc. Can you tell us something about the burial pattern and the crop pattern? Actually, uh, we have pit and urn burials here, about 16 have been mm -hmm. recovered mm -hmm. and about the crop pattern, the staple crop is pearly. Mm -hmm. But we also have uh, three types of three varieties of uh, wheat and we also have pulses, lentils etc. Supritha, can you tell us something about the site of Inamgao? Inamga actually is a very well documented site. Mm -hmm. It's on the Ghor Valley mm -hmm. and um, the period 1 itself is associated with Malwa culture and there we have extensive structural remains. Mostly what we have is are the wattle and daub houses with plastered floors and um, thatched roofs, conical roofs. Uh, and we also have hearths inside the houses. Tell us something about the food habits of the inhabitants. Yes, the staple crop of this region is actually burley. Uh, wheat couldn't prosper because of uh, scarcity mm. of rains. And uh, we also have, we also have uh, discovered some uh, storage chambers dug underground and we also have wicker work uh, baskets which were used to store grain or food or something.